So is this fist useless as one famous karate instructor just claimed? Not if you know Kyusho. Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Today we're going to discuss this fist position, okay? Some people call it an Ipon Ken, some people call it Tiger's Tooth or Shokin. There's many different names for it, and it's in many different styles. But is it useless, okay? The premise that the instructor was claiming was he didn't have the time to condition this on a Makobara or any other training device to make it strong enough so he could concuss a person in soft tissue. Um, to cause uh, damage. And that's not the, the issue with this fist, okay? And a lot of people misunderstand this. Now you can condition it so you can get it very solid and you can break boards with it, you can um, strike people in the ribs with it, you can strike them in the head with it. But that's not what Q-Show is about and that's not why this fist was developed. This fist obviously was to get into smaller areas than this fist. All right, now this is used again as a bludgeon, as I've mentioned many times in my previous uh, recordings here. This fist is to get into the cavities, the smaller depressions in the human body where the vital structures can be reached. This is Q-Show, all right. As an example, if you're grappling with the person, you've got them in the clinch position and you hook up underneath the cheekbone, behind the ear, into the carotid sinus. Now you don't necessarily have to strike. If you're in clinch position, you don't have the room to strike. You don't have the room to develop power. So what does this do? It acts like a can opener. Okay, you're going to use the, the front knuckle. You can, you should brace it. Okay, I see a lot of people do it this way, but this will just allow the, the finger to fold under pressure. You want to brace that, that finger and you want to hook into it. So if you're in the carotid sinus, you're going to hook down and in. If you're coming up under the cheekbone, you're going to twist up and in and back toward the, the cheekbone, pressing the nerve and the vein and artery underneath there, up underneath the zygomatic bone here. If you're behind the ear, there's several different targets you can go to. Let's just talk about the facial nerve uh, right here. If you press that, everybody knows that causes pain. So if you're in a grappling situation, you're uh, in the clinch position, you're on the floor, it's easy to hold the person and just jam right in there. That has a use. That's powerful, okay? It works with the Q-Show. Now let's discuss the body a little bit more. You know you have ribs. If you use a whole fist, you are never going to be able to really damage the inner organs. But if you use that small fist, it will separate the ribs. You'll reach in deeper into the nerves, into the uh, organs, and you can cause much more damage. Uh, let's work on the liver because he mentioned the liver shot, okay? Trying to get uh, a powerful blow into the liver with this. He, he preferred using this, okay? And if you don't work with this, that's, that's the only option. Work with this if you don't work with this, all right? But if you jam onto the liver correctly, all right, and it doesn't even have to be on the ribs, and you use this as a downward hooking action, like I was mentioning, a can opener type of uh, an idea, then you're gonna cause massive potential damage. And it will go between the ribs, it will work into the kidney, it will work into the armpit, it has a lot of great uses. If you're going to strike from a long distance, it might not be the best um, weapon for you unless, again, you're targeting Q-Show. If you hit for the chest, say you're hitting for the nipple, which is a, a very sensitive area, and a lot of martial artists are going to go, why would you do that? Try it once, okay? And you will make it your target of choice for a long time to come. You strike someone there, it stops them cold, if not arrests their breath, makes them sick to their stomach, and drops them to the floor, okay? You use this or that kind of a knuckle, a single knuckle digging in there, okay, in between the two ribs, then you're gonna cause major dysfunction. 
Okay, you're going to cause the person's mental <laughs> ability and their spiritual will to fight diminish as well. Powerful weapon. He also named, uh, as some styles named this, a tiger's tooth. Well, if you're thinking about a tiger, a tiger is going to bite into the um, object, okay? Whatever it's e eating, whether it's an antelope or whatever. It's going to bite in and it sinks its tooth in. And that's what you want to think with this fist. So you think of the targets you can strike with. I gave you a few. You can use it for pain compliance, although I'm not a big fan of pain compliance because if a person is on drugs, alcohol, adrenaline when they're angry, pain compliance diminishes rapidly and it won't affect them as much. You want physical dysfunction. The only way to get physical dysfunction um, is to hit the inner structures, to weaken the nerve system, the musculature, the muscle spindle cells, the Golgi tendon organs. All of those structures you can reach with this fist. Okay, so again, it's not useless if you know Q-Show.